Hello. Well, today I'm very grateful that we've reached the end of January. I always want to hibernate in this darkest and most depressing month of the year. January all seems to last a lot more than 31 days. At least the snow last weekend clear, cheered most people up. The snow had appeared, as did sledges. There was some much needed fun and laughter and some beautiful scenery. But this Friday was unexpectedly warm and venturing into my garden. I could see the snowdrops on daffodils pushing through the soil. And it seems that despite a long, wet, cold January, spring is well and truly on its way. February is the month when suddenly the days get longer and a few days from now it will be light at five o'clock. Going back to my early life in Kettering as a young woman, I worked for Calendar Dry Rawlings. I had my own office at the top of a three storey building and was very aware of seasons and times of light, etc. as I could watch sunsets over the town. I had an interesting job there as a market researcher. Not only did I have to have a close eye on the soft drinks market and try and forecast future demand, but I was also responsible for product testing and some aspects of new product development. Canada Dry had a range of soft drinks as well as the well-known Canada Dry ginger ale, so every day I would set up tastings of various mixes and soft drinks. We also had the R. White's Lemonade brand, plus we developed some new drinks. Of course, much had to be tasted with spirits, so my desk drawer was full of bottles of whiskey, gin, vodka, etc. It was from my office that I would get excited when in mid-February we would be going home in the light. It always seemed to make such a difference. I have a few tales I could tell from my days working in research. It took me all over the country as we tested drinks with different people in different places. Also, this was before we lived in times where women were treated well in the workplace. The behaviour I had to tolerate then would be frowned upon in these modern times. We don't always realise just how much changes around us over time. I can certainly say that I was subject to some very inappropriate and chauvinistic behaviour and I'm glad that my granddaughters will eventually work in a more equal world. The change of any type is gradual. I'm not sure exactly when workplace became more equal for women and I guess different industries are different. I just know that it did indeed change and now there are rules and policies to protect any type of person being discriminated against for any reason today. This February we'll also see a gradual change in light. Every day we will gain an extra few minutes of light. Today the sun will rise at 7.45 and set at 4.40. By the 28th of February the sun will rise at 6.50 and set at 5.33. That's an almost two extra hours of light in a month. And as the Covid vaccine goes out to more people and we start to plan a little more normality again, life too will seem brighter in other ways. Easter is now not too far away, a time of new life, resurrection and new beginnings. We can only pray that this year our churches will open to celebrate this wonderful festival. Despite the physical and metaphorical darkness that has surrounded us in these past months, there is now a physical and metaphorical light shining ahead of us. The change may seem slow, we may not even notice it, just as we don't even notice the extra minute or two of light each day. The change is indeed coming, light is coming and our hope will be renewed. So keep smiling when you can and take time to notice the change into spring and new life. Meanwhile, keep safe and remember the only thing that never changes is God's love for us. God bless you. Amen.